Welcome guys to Jay's Two Cents. If it's your first time here, stick around. Maybe you'll enjoy it, maybe you won't. Most of you don't, it's okay. <laughs> Dude. What? It's so small. You really think so? What does the wife think? Well, she says it gets the job done. <laughs> Mine's not that small. Mm -mm. The Fractal Design Node 202. It's not about how big it is, but all about how you use it. Okay, so going on behind me is the very strange panel array. And although very, very functional, uh, and I, I'm going to miss it, trust me, I'm going to undo it entirely. I mean, I've got, it freaks out the NVIDIA drivers, especially with SLI, and it just doesn't know what the heck to do half the time. Switching in and out of programs, sometimes it just completely flips out. And here's why. The main panel in there is a 27-inch Acer Swift panel, which is a 144 hertz, 1440p G-Sync panel. Uh, that in itself is fine. But then on either side of that, I've got two VG248QE 144Hz 1080p non-G-Sync, although G-Sync upgradable panels. And on top of everything else, I've got the 34-inch ultra-wide curved LG UC87 uh, panel. So, which again is a 1440p wide screen. So everything is just completely foobarred when it comes to the resolutions and how it's set up. So although very functional, it makes editing really, really easy with all that real estate. It's time to downsize. I've lost a lot of desk space. I get even half block skunk work, so I can't even see the damn thing really when I'm sitting at my system. Plus, it puts off a lot of heat. This much panel, I mean, panels do put off heat, and it gets hot and it gets sweaty in here, and I get under boob sweat, and I just don't feel like getting sweaty in this room anymore, unless it's for uh, different reasons, if you know what I'm saying. So, NVIDIA was kind enough to send me, yeah, and I actually maintained a relationship with them after doing the Titan videos, imagine that. They sent me over the brand new Acer X34 Predator curved ultra-wide IPS overclockable panel. And I'm gonna kinda see if I can go back to one panel and be happy. And if you guys in the future see extra panels popping up, then you know that one panel wasn't enough. I think I can deal with going back to one panel, I hope. So with that said, let me go ahead and tear these panels down, box them up, and then I'm gonna put up the Predator. And I'll hook it up and kind of give you guys some of my first impressions and then over time we'll see how it does. But it is G-Sync and even though it is 100 hertz and I'm coming down from 144 hertz main panels, uh, personally, I can't distinguish the difference between 100 hertz and 144 hertz. And I've already tested that. I can definitely tell the difference between 60 and 100. Between 100 and 144, uh, it's very hard to distinguish the difference there. So I am going to go ahead, get this bad boy hooked up, get some desk space back, get this place cleaned up, and we'll go from there. Transition. Well, there we go. It's pretty much done. And real quick, if you guys hear any chirping and stuff in the background, the window's open. It's actually a really nice day here in Southern California. I think it only got to like 74 degrees. It's kind of chilly, actually. I had to turn on the heater. But ultimately, going from those four panels of the really strange array, if you will, down to the single 34-inch ultra-wide uh, QHD is actually very pleasant. Now, I haven't done any editing yet. Obviously, this is going to be the first video that I edit on this display. Now, a lot of folks are going to be asking about full review of this monitor. Yes, I'm going to be doing a full review, but not today because I need more time to spend with this thing. Get a little intimate with it, take it out to dinner, maybe, you know, see where it goes from there. But I have to spend some time with the panel before I can actually really learn all about it and give you guys any sort of opinion or review of it. But there are some really cool features that I can mention right off the bat that I like. For instance, it does have uh, underglow lighting right here. It's kind of hard to see in this particular environment. It's very bright because I have the studio lights going, but when the lights are off, it looks very neat. You can switch between a bunch of different colors. And I think I was actually getting ready to head out to Home Depot to buy some accent lighting, but since this thing had it built in, I really don't see any need for that now. It even has four USB 3.0 pass-throughs uh, with a built-in hub on the panel. It's, so one thing I'm a little confused about, and I will say this, and I will repeat this in the review for the panel, is I'm con confused about why it comes out of the box as a 60 hertz panel when you can simply go into the settings and tell it to run 100 hertz, and it seems to run 100 hertz pretty much no problem. So I'm not sure why they even give it the option of running at the slower speed if it's capable of running at 100 hertz. So I'm, I guess I don't know why they didn't just do it out of the box, but whatever, I digress. But anyway, overall, I'm happy with the amount of desk space that I have back, and you know, it doesn't feel overcrowded. I can actually see my system again without the right panel blocking that, so I'm kind of happy. But I'll report back again in the uh, maybe a tech talk update or something about how I feel about going from four panels back down to one panel 
and you know, let you guys know how I feel about that. Anyway, it's time to get on out of here, guys. I will do a full review of the X34 uh, Predator from Acer, I promise. Just give me a few weeks on that. I wanna give the thing time to really get to know it and make sure nothing goes wrong with it, especially since it is a cutting edge panel. It's brand new. It's, I mean, there's not a lot of reviews on the thing so far, and some of the reviews out there have been hit and miss, where some people have had a lot of problems with them. So I don't want to give a positive review and have it go wrong later. I'd rather wait and make sure nothing's going to go wrong before I give you my opinion on the thing. But time to get out of here, guys. We will see you soon. Uh, Tech Talks on Thursday at about 5 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you guys tune in for that. Uh, it is right here on YouTube, right here on this channel. Also, make sure you're following on Twitter, at Jace Two Cents. I've got a huge huge announcement coming up. Something I'm going to be doing for my 500,000 subscriber giveaway here pretty soon. You guys are not going to want to miss that. Trust me when I say it is going to be the biggest thing that has happened on this channel yet. But with that said, I've actually said too much. Time to get out of here and we will see you in the next one.